homosexuality can fix dy dyslexia. Can Does it? that mean I should be a homosexuality? Yes. Yes, you should. Now we don't know I've been trying. begging for months, years even. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're already married now. So actually, you know what? And, and homosexuality cures even? AIDS. They should tell that to every homophobic Ooh, bastard. See, I heard it was the other way around. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah. You see, that's the dyslexia in you getting it the wrong way around. Oh, and you know what else is going to be in you by the end of tonight if you want to cure that dyslexia? Hey, where are you getting this hay what? from? Hey, uh, hey, this Saturday, the horse's thing. mouth. Um, <laughs> what lever? So, <laughs> stop interrupting. Uh, stop <laughs> this Saturday at your place. Yeah, what about it? So, uh, uh, what's going to happen? Have, have you prepped like your room at all? And what? Have you prepped your room at all? Have you moved the desk? Have you done anything? Uh, we've moved the bed. We are moving stuff out. I've given the place a vacuum and I've managed to open a window. That's about it. What okay. else? You know what? When I was there, I desperately would have loved to have a window open and I tried it and it was painted shut and I was like, well, I don't want to break <laughs> something. So I left it. <laughs> Both of them were and I had to it's yeah, like no. half an hour to open just <laughs> one of them. The other one is... I would have forced it over and I thought, if this breaks... Yeah, that's what I thought. It takes gentle engineering. If it breaks, it deserves to break. It really That's does. Right. I had to use a chisel and I had to get a like a paint scraper thing and kind of get it in between with a mallet in between the, 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 the frame and the outer frame. I don't know what they call it. The sled. And, because well, what else do we call it? And, the sled. Yeah, the sled. Wait, with the which part? The sled. The bit that the window sits in. The sled. Oh, okay. Right, I get you. I'm with you now. The sled. And once I've done all the outs the inside of it, between the window and the sled, I went outside and had to do the edges of the window and the sled. And then I had to get a chisel and a mallet <laughs> again and hammer in between it and kind of wedge it up and then go a little bit more bang, 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 and then move it along. And then eventually it opened. And with that. So when you're starting on the second one? I tried it. The, w the frame almost broke. It was actually, oh, I actually sorry. was cracking, the wood was cracking away. I was like, this <laughs> is damaging the window beyond my <laughs> ability to repair. I'm gonna get Lever to fuck it up, that way he has to buy me a new one. Oh, okay. That's, Big, that's strong idea. Oh. Mm. I, uh, I, had, I had an idea okay. for Saturday. Because you, you were talking about the pictures, right? Uh, okay, I'll get the Sayo. Uh, bear in mind yeah. with your ideas, exclude me out of them, please. You well have... done, you haven't heard them, you little cock. Well, I actually have somewhere to be later that night, so... Uh... Well, that's okay, just yeah, so Georgie and me, so it's got to be a, a daytime thingy, I think. Yeah, good. Yeah. Unfortunate. Why? Where, uh, where are you got to go? It's so important. Oh, uh, no, nowhere, no, <coughs> nowhere, nowhere important. <laughs> oh, it's a Reaches. family gathering, I think. Reaches. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and family gathering. That's exactly <laughs> it. How did you guess? Who is he, and why are you dating him? <laughs> it is a family thing. And who is he? Why are you dating him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And with it's that, fine, everyone. Dang. Look, you let me say the goddamn intro. Why have some idea you? Yeah, yeah what's his idea? <laughs> no, I don't want to say it now. Oh. Let's say it now. Can't we say it Soggy after say the now. music starts? The people are desperately All right, waiting for the go intro. with the music. Hit the music. Hit it. Hit it again. And it welcome again. everyone to In the Bread podcast. Again, this baby. is Dead Ed. The hit it again. In, in, in the end, in the bread. <laughs> this this is this is just turning out to be the most professional podcast yet. Tonight, today, today, tonight, and a current affair. We have Nugsy, we have Leba, sorry, aren't we? And we have myself, Dead Ed. No special interest this evening. You don't deserve one. Well, you didn't get one either. Does it mean you don't deserve one? Wait. Yes. And what, what about Ed? He didn't get one. Oh. He's an idiot. No one got Okay, the all-natural <laughs> all Nugsy, the incestuous, incestual... Uh, oh, boring. I've heard the these before. Perverted... Well, I'm sorry, but these are... The, you know what? I thought of a great one for Andy this week, and she's not here. Andy? Uh, yes. Andy! Was she going to join? She, uh, yeah, she was. She but, may have. But she found out you were in it, so she said no. Yeah. She hates your guts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Nugsy, what was your idea? For this Saturday, you know Saturday, Saturday, you know, Saturday. I've been I've been trying to think of anal things to use this for. Yeah, anal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great.
great. The, oh, what use what for? Uh, I know. I mean, they could work in this scenario. But uh, the the white suit jackets. The white suit jackets. Yeah, from your wedding. You. That is yeah, cost a fortune. Wedding. You, could... you want to wear them in the dirt under the house? Not a fortune. I mean. No! That's not, that's not what I was going to use them for, but I mean, now I want to. Oh, you mean for the photo shoot? Yes. And? You can wear yours, I'm not wearing mine. <laughs> what, and? And? Sorry. We could, we could make masks made out of bread. Like sex masks? Okay. Yes. Well, Lev is going to be... Lev is going to be naked, but he's got his back he's... to the camera. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. going to be horsing around. He's just going to have that so, horse yeah. mask on. It'll look like I'm naked. This is good. I mean, I'm not. I figure that's yeah, your, because he's a horse. That's your natural pose for the right. podcast. You don't. It's just a, yeah, natural, natural habitat. <laughs> Ow. Well, people think that you're oh, in hay due to all the body hair. I think. Mm. <laughs> then they'll think, yeah, yeah true. <laughs> what are we gonna do about that? Uh, <laughs> what can we do? Ask how everyone's day was. Maxi, how was your um, day, mate? I'd be lying if I didn't say. Great, awesome. We didn't say what. Oh, that's exactly. it. I get it. Lever, that's good to hear. Lever, how was your day? You know what, bro? I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> oh, well, it looks like this is going to be you and me, Maxie. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I got annoyed with myself because oh. I had ideas for discussions and, it was, and in my mind I thought that would be pretty good. Oh. But guess what? I didn't write them down and I forgot. <laughs> I have no bloody idea. Always put my shit down. Always... I, I thought I'd remember for sure yeah. when I get home and then I don't have a bloody idea. So... You know what? Yeah. I was a no today too, but for different reasons. Because Leber forgot his idea. Oh no, different yeah, reasons. Sorry. Mean, sorry. That's now a new thing. What? I uh, I was using the forklift at work and Way. I got in I got in from behind. A, yeah. From a different side, uh -huh. uh, wait, which wait, is wait. fine, but I stood up too quickly and I smacked my head on the corner of like the middle frame. Did you have oh, your yeah. helmet on? Did you have your safety helmet on, Nugsy? I hate uh, to be the uh, risk advisor here, but were you protected with your high res uh, jacket? I had a con I had a condom on. Oh, good. <laughs> what are you complaining for? God. Yeah, <laughs> I was protected. They're a court adjourned. The corner. He had a condom on. Yeah. Let it be known. It doesn't count as insafe. 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 Like in Opposed the... to out safe? Yeah. Insafe. <sighs> a criminal's oh. worst nightmare. Mm -hmm. And also, actually, the podcast doesn't know this, but we have confirmation that Leber is his sister. Lever and his sister is the same person, as oh, confirmed yeah. by Matt, uh, who was on the first podcast, I think. Lever yeah, was. shared with us a photo of him dressed. Right? Yes, I became one sister. of those transsexuals. Transsexuals, transgenders. Oh, cross-genders, cross cross whatever they are. Either way. I became one of such. How did it feel, Lever? How did it feel having a vagina and boobs and long hair and makeup on and a dress well, and getting touched and pinched and... Oh, uh, I did get touched and pinched. How was uh, it? I already, I didn't, I didn't have any extra boobs. I did wear a bra for five ten minutes, and it got really irritating, so I got rid of it. Wind, wind. <laughs> Women go a whole lifetime. Yeah, I know. Right? I know, but mine was mine was tight, and it was is... only held on by elastic. How I like it. And that. it was just just digging down my shoulder blade, and I couldn't do it anymore. Damn, you reckon all women have to go through that? Like not to and... shoulder blade, but yeah, sim similar. Yeah, absolutely. Was it like hitting your Adam's apple or how? You poor thing. Yeah, those you know, breasts must have been you, humongous. Adam, with this in mind, women, take off your bra. You will not hear a complaint from me. Full stop. Leva, continue. Yeah, I was supporting the burn bra um, protest but while I was... I was going to say, what do you mean costume. by burn bra, but that makes sense. You, you've never heard of that? Burn the bra. Nope. The feminist yeah. movement where they burn yeah. their bras. I'm sure right. there's many of them, but I don't know them by name. But this one is very important, Nugsy. And, interesting fact, out of all the bra burnings that happened, there was an 18% chance that the person burning the bra would accidentally burn themselves on the hands. And the doctors that <laughs> treated them were all male. 
Ironic. What? Ironic. I don't think so. <laughs> I just made that up, but it sounds pretty legit, doesn't it? I was going to say, where are your statistics on this? Reddit. Uh, Four, that's fair enough. enough said. Yeah. Enough said. Saw it in a photo once on Twitter. Yeah. Posted by has Donald Trump. Legit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think I remember that before oh, he's on Donald Trump. The one and only. Well, this is the thing about the internet. There is so much shit mm. out there, and we don't know what is real and what is fake anymore, especially this whole fake news craze. And you know what a British mm. journalist has done, which is absolutely amazing, and I love him he's for it. He's created fake news. Then a lot of comedians do that. You know what, you're that, that's, that's <laughs> that over with. Thanks, Nugsy. You Yes, that's right. No, well, kind of. He created a fake restaurant, um, complete with fake reviews, um, and he made it like London's number one sought-after restaurant on TripAdvisor, with like, um, and he called it, I think, what, The Shed in Dulwich, which he named after, like, that is the name he got it from his street name is literally His Shed. And he, he made a website, made a fake menu that was the most pretentious load of shit you'll ever read. And <laughs> he got friends to write reviews and it was like, oh, <laughs> the secret location that, you know, is, is, is like London's number one. What was it? It was like, you know, number one's best kept secret. And um, he even posted up fake food uh, photographs that were like made from like um, household items like shaving cream and just like doused in like herbs and spices. And, and he made it look really... It was a funny, it's a funny thing, and his whole argument was, is that the internet is obsessed with accepting so much bullshit out there, that he wanted to yeah. prove that it doesn't take much to get an audience to go, yes, this is great, how do we do this, how do we get, you know what, that's just great, I, I love it, I think it's an absolutely amazing idea, um, to quote him, one day, what was his name? I don't know, how do you say that name? O O B A H. Obach? Butler? Uber? Uber. 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 <laughs> you ride him around. He, <laughs> he used to make money from writing positive reviews for restaurants. Ten, uh, ten pounds per restaurant review, which is ingenious. Why don't I be doing that right now? But um, he said, one day sitting in my shed where I live, uh, sorry, in the shed. Sitting in the shed I live in, lives in a shed, uh, I had a revelation. Within the current climax, that can't be climax, climate, I really should be reading this with my glasses <laughs> on, of misinformation and society's willingness to believe absolute bullshit, maybe a fake restaurant is possible, maybe it's exactly the kind of place that could be a hit. In a moment, it became my mission. With the help of fake reviews, mystique, and nonsense, I was going to do it. Turn my shed into London's top-rated restaurant on TripAdvisor. And he did it. He got it to number one. Did there, Was there, like, a huge backlash or anything like that, or not? Not a clue. It doesn't go any further to say. Wait, how is it, how recent is this? There might not have been enough time for backlash to have been oh, 2012. Hmm. This December 8th. The 8th of December, 2017, so it was very recently, this kind of... Yeah, give it, give it a, maybe give it a few more days. <laughs> but I think he doesn't want to create controversy. He wanted to prove a point that people... No, but the... Yeah, uh, I mean, you don't want to, but it will happen. Yeah. yeah, of course, because yeah. they're all idiots. These you are could... the same idiots That's that right. were frigging up plus a restaurant they've never been to. Sorry, Nugsy. You Correct. Were saying, you are saying, Nugsy? Correct. Let me stop interrupting, Nugsy, you were saying? I was, I was saying? You were going to say something. Uh, yes. Good. I agree. I've never used TripAdvisor. Trip Advisor. Have any of you used TripAdvisor? <laughs> I've never used TripAdvisor either. Oh, good. Yeah, I've used TripAdvisor before. <laughs> <laughs> you can make fun of my speech impediment all you want. <laughs> I'm still a strong and unique, beautiful flow of Unique. Like. <laughs> yes, you are unique. Oh! <laughs> fuck you, Beautiful, Tom. unique. Oh, jeez. You, you believe. Nonetheless, I think it's great. I've never used TripAdvisor. Have you guys? No, Are I haven't. Rewinding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> what the power you said, TripAdvisor? All of it. From oh, now on. Okay. Welcome to the podcast, everyone. <laughs> Go with the theme song. Yep. Google reviews. You guys use Google reviews? 
What is uh, a Google uh, review? No. Oh, fuck's sake. You know, every time. Oh, <laughs> like, um, yeah, when you do a search on a place or something and it comes yeah. up as a review. People. Yeah. Uh, no. I don't oh. do reviews at all. Uh, you don't do anything. No, I found out. Reviews are pointless. <laughs> I uh I don't know I I looked up um Pointless. my work's address. Pointless. Yes, you were saying, Nugsy. I looked up Pointless. my work address. Yeah. Uh, a couple of weeks Pointless. ago. And uh, the day that I checked, there were two reviews. One of them was from a few days prior, uh -huh. and that person gave the store one star. Yep. <sighs> It happens. <laughs> Why? Because the service was two minutes too late. <laughs> I don't know. They didn't. They didn't leave a message or anything. They just rated it once, though. Oh, that's it. And that's that. Now that actually uh, defames. Oh shit! Shit! That defames a whole company because of some douchebag putting something like just one star with no mm -hmm. explanation whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if they deserve it or not, but how do we know? We don't. Yeah. And even if look, this is the problem, people can twist reviews so easily and make it yeah. sound like they're the victim when really, like I've dealt with the most cuntiest of customers. In fact, that's going to be my slogan for I'm going to pump it out on Facebook. Don't put the cunt in customer this Christmas because you know some customers just expect that what <laughs> that doesn't work. Don't be okay. How about this? Don't be a cunstomer. Cunstomer. I don't think that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, but they become constamers. Yeah, you can be. But that's not even a word. Well, it is a word. Oxford Dictionary. Well, I see constamer. You see yeah. leather. The fuck with. Yes. <laughs> no, you'll see. With the incredibly short dick and the fucking. Fuckwit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and his short dick as well. Actually, no. <laughs> his head on his short dick. <laughs> Thumbs up coming out of the scrotum. I want fan art. <laughs> I'm gonna make it myself. <laughs> you know, I know that we're making up a word, Lebar, okay? Oh! I'm with you, Ed. Thank you. Oh, I how agree. You? Shit, how did you get here? No. Uh, That's the cat. I am the cat. Oh, okay. Must be very hot in that first suit. Stop, <laughs> looking, stop looking at yourself, too. You... No! I am the table. Oh, well. What? <laughs> the the table. table! I do not know that reference, but... Okay. Are you a table? Is your table. <laughs> I am the table! Why has this a table got a knob on it? <laughs> because I am <laughs> the be, table! That should be a speciality. A t uh, uh, you, 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 pr you produce wooden furniture. You're a factory, you're, you're a carpenter that makes wooden furniture, but no matter what furniture you get, somewhere inconvenient is going to be an erection. Like, a full-blown <laughs> erection, modelled after your own penis, too. The table! And in fact, it will be a handy <laughs> handle for when you have to move it. Genius. I don't know how that would help. Well, it you helps. can fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 when you weren't your right, your one-star review on fucking Google Tube. You know... You know how they have those little toys and stuff that are meant to like keep your hands busy when Go you're bored? What? Like the fidget cube and stuff. Yeah, if I sell them, I know about them. Yeah, what about? Yeah, them? that's what the that's what the door handles for. Ah, oh, to keep your hands. You just fiddle with it, yeah. Friction to keep the hand warm. Yeah. Play with the knob. Comes with free lube. <laughs> oh yeah, ridiculous. Those toys. You know, have a have a Sheila ever? How would you like to play with my knob? You can hang your hat off of it too, <laughs> and and the knob. <laughs> <laughs> Good old days. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did Lever do? He became a ringtone, a message tone. <laughs> <laughs> we should. You know what? I have a new message tone next week. Oh great! Wait, wait, wait! I didn't do anything. It was Lever that did it. I know. Boring. Oh, that's gonna that's be the next one. one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, whenever Lever sends a text message, boring. Boring. And you know what? You could say old news is boring. But this news is not old, but certainly an event which is current right now. Do you guys know it's Ooh. almost Christmas time? I mean, no. Let me let me put into perspective for you as soon as I get the calendar up. We have one, two more Christmases. Sorry, <laughs> two more Christmases until <laughs> the weekend happens. Two more weekends. <laughs> Woo, three the Christmases cr this year. Hey. Before the, <laughs> so we've got one more weekend, the 16th and the 17th. And then we have the 23rd. Happy Festivus, everybody. And then the 24th. And then Monday, Christmas Day. It's uh, Festivus today. No, Festivus is on the 23rd. That's why I said, said on the 20th. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. 
but I can't find an aluminum pole to erect. You know, fucking trust, <laughs> trust the last week and a half to be the shittest so far. Yeah, ah, oh, tr- yeah, I hear. But this is old news. I know this came out. This came out. Um, when did this come out? Of the closet. Uh, September, late September, twenty seventeen. Um, so, but but now is the festive season. Big W, of course. Like all these shops put out their Christmas stock early in order to sell it. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a bit of controversy back in September, and I remember it, so I thought I'd bring it back up, uh, of them, Big W, bringing out, quote-unquote, festive trees, not Christmas trees. Oh! Fuck right. me! Triggered! You fucks! Okay, I don't really care that much, but, I mean, some part of me does and some part of me doesn't. <laughs> you realise why they do that, yeah? Not, not because they don't want to offend people. Because they, can, they want to make a bigger market. They want to sell but, the stuff to people like, I'm, oh, you know, I'm, you know, just say I'm Jewish or Muslim or something. I don't I mean, want a Christmas tree. I want a festive tree. That's fair enough, but Christmas, I mean, I could be incorrect in saying, but like, isn't Christmas kind of related straight to Christianity? Yeah. This is the thing. So doesn't it kind of defeat the purpose? This is the thing that's got me actually triggered about this. The stupid thing is that the whole fucking thing is pagan rooted anyway it's got yeah well that's true yeah. everything like this is pagan rooted december 25th the the tree itself well, it's rooted by pagan ones it's all mm, oh, how was it uh it was very ritual-esque a he or a she out of curiosity or both or they neither. were wearing a mask so i couldn't tell okay more on that later kind of um, reminded me of you actually so. more on that later uh so anyway Okay, I understand. Hut, hut. Where, where, where Lever is coming from? No, where Nugs is coming from, and I understand where Lever is mm-hmm. coming from. It, it's this is the halal um, Easter eggs all over again. Absolutely. Uh, you, you, how can Easter eggs and have halal when you don't celebrate Easter in the first place? This doesn't make sense. How? But how do you have halal e- Easter? Wait, you. Ch- huh? Nugsy? Is he downloading Hello? porn again? Didn't, didn't you it say has hello? overpowered him. Yeah. Didn't you say halal Easter eggs? Yes, yes. Sorry, you broke up for a second there. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> uh, but like chocolate Easter eggs? Yeah. It was, no, like, it was halal chocolate Easter eggs. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize you had to kill the chocolate first. I don't, I don't understand either. But um, Pauline Hansen went on a rant and, and said, Bye good old non-halal easter eggs from Daryl Lee or, or someone else don't eat Cadbury eggs <coughs> and I was looking into this because I don't ever remember actually going to the shops and looking at the easter eggs and seeing halal stickers on it you know um I'm all right. for people are being allowed to eat what they eat but it seems ridiculous that someone who isn't Christian would be again getting a pagan friggin ritual out of here because the egg and the rabbit all fertility symbols um would be doing a partaking in that sense by eating the chocolate <laughs> how, how does that work how how i don't, money. I don't know money, yeah money mm. money money that's money, the only money. thing i can think of really mm. to be it's honest the only thing that matters yeah. no one cares about pc or any of this shit it's money. money it's always been about money I was trying to research into it, and apparently Cadbury fought back by saying that none of their eggs had been labelled hal- labelled labelled halal. It was a case where somebody saw some chocolate that was in another country that had a Muslim majority that was oh, quote halal yeah. chocolate, and it was blown out of proportion. Um, <clears throat> I must admit, okay. as getting back to what I was saying before, I never saw any eggs that had any halal stickers on it, um, ever. And I can't say I was looking for it, but I know I certainly would have noticed it had I seen it. But the, See, the- Mm-hmm. The only other thing I could think of is to avoid confusion. Like, in a majority Muslim area, I can understand people questioning, some, a fo- especially a foreign product like Cadbury. Foreign? Foreign? Yeah, well, wouldn't it, be, it wouldn't be made in foreign. that particular country. I just, I sh- yes. What have we got? Australia has a Cadbury. We're foreign country. to other people, you know. No, but I'm just saying. Cadbury- Still, oh, are we? But, but in our, we can't be a foreigner in our own country. No, but you were talking about in other... Uh, Muslim dominated countries, oh, they were yes. labeled halal. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I thought you meant here in Australia. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, does, but. Actually, no, this is something I want to bring up. 
that I, I actually went to the Cadbury website and I typed in um, halal chocolate here in Cadbury. And there's a decent list, actually, I came across that was halal based. And then above that, they had kosher. And then I clicked on the kosher link. And you know what? On that link, it actually says, and let me get it up right now. So go to the halal okay. section. Lots of lovely products there for people to... Now the website's not working. You fucks! Um, then I went to the... to the. Hang on. Cadbury. I'm gonna find you myself if I must. Cadbury. If you must. Hello. Um, <clears throat> while you're doing that, so if they've removed Christmas from their tree selection, does that mean they've removed Christmas from everything else? No, it's still <laughs> Christmas ornaments and... Christmas, Christmas has been cancelled, everyone. Just figure so it out. So what, what's the point? What's the point in changing one thing... Oh, fuck knows why. You know what I mean? Like, it seems a bit odd to just go, oh yeah, we'll, move, we'll make it festive tree, but not festive ornaments and festive cards and... <laughs> I, I have no idea. It is PC gone mad. Here we go, here we go. So the Halal products, lots of them, go to the kosher products. Quote, kosher products, we do not have any kosher certified products, comma. However, some of our products have been listed on the... I don't know how to say that name. Mizarich Kosher Food Bulletin from time to time. Isn't okay. that a little bit discriminative? <clears throat> Almost so? anti-Semitic by not having anything that is kosher certified? But it doesn't it doesn't that doesn't mean that it's not <clears throat> It doesn't. It's just mass produced, right? So it just means that they haven't gone to someone and, what, what did you say, uh, uh, certified it with someone who would be able to say whether or not it's kosher, right? But they certified the halal. If we're living in a, in a country that believes in pure equality, then surely if we have the decency to certify it one way, I'd be pissed off if it was well, the other way. If it was and, kosher and certified, but not halal certified. Unless they they don't care as much, maybe there's more care on the, the Islamic side about it being halal or not. Do you reckon Muslims just enjoy sweets a lot more than Jews? Yes, you heard it here the, right now, <laughs> fellas. Do you reckon Everyone, I'm... podcast. I don't know. I have no idea. Because I know, I know. With um, oh, far right, now, my brain is. I don't. I don't. White. You know what? I don't. You I don't... don't think so. Although I suppose it depends where you're from, right? Like, I feel like if you're in in a wealthier country, sweets are going to be available to you. So you might partake in a sweet. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But... So I, I think it's... it's it depends, really. If you look at... if you look at the kind of traditional food that they eat during Hanukkah, it's a lot of fried kind of sweet breads from what, what I've seen, what I've witnessed. Um, so... I mean, it's not that Jewish people, the Jewish faith, don't have a sweet tooth. It just seems that Cadbury doesn't want Jews to eat their chocolate, maybe. <laughs> Are you sure or, about that? No, as I'm not. I said, maybe, maybe the Jews who do eat chocolate don't care whether or not it's kosher. But or maybe it, they're not practicing. As you, as you, as you, actually, this is a fact you brought up before, Nugsy. Isn't kosher and, and halal just the way they sacrifice the animal? I believe so, yes. But wait, no, you can so get they... you can get kosher <clears throat> bread though. So how the, well, there must be something... it, it could be it 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 might have something to do with the ingredients mm. like eggs or something. Uh, Maybe the, this the needs to be a way eggs are yeah. Yeah. See, I, the... I honestly have no idea. This is why we needed Andy here. She's the expert. Yeah, the the, uh, the expert in religion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our our religion correspondent. But yeah, that's it. For, coming from Palestine right now, or should yeah. I stay uh, Israel? I don't know. After Donald Trump, was it he recognized Israel as the capital of Israel, <laughs> and Jerusalem know, as the capital so of? Yeah, he keep track of all of it. Yeah. It's his mission just yeah. to confuse the fuck out of everyone. Yeah, he did. He did. No, he he recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, which is <clears throat> what they've been fighting for anyway, isn't it? So uh, I'll be back in a sec. Oh wow, Nugsy's up. Oh, you upset Nugsy now, aren't we? Thank you. We deserved it! Okay. I mean, your family's Jewish, Lever. What? Do they do they eat chocolate? 
Uh, they're Jewish now, are they? So they're not terrorists anymore? Or are they Jewish terrorists? What, you're saying Jewish people can't be terrorists? Are you discriminating against Jewish people? Oh, Jewish what have I said? Oh, no, I've been caught out. You have been. I mean, Nugsy's obviously, um, his family is Muslim. And it's, it's kind of nice that we had this diversity <laughs> right here, right now. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well. I'm it, back. Okay. Just to, just to clarify. Liver. Oh, Nugsy isn't actually Muslim at all. Are you, Nugsy? Are you? Actually, you might be. I don't know. Not, not as far. Maybe, maybe I am. Maybe I don't are. know. Nobody's ever told me. Mm. I could be. But Liver is not Jewish either, so. Have we, can we clarify that? Can we, can we get him kosher certified? Can we have a look at your what? penis to see if it's still got its foreskin intact? I mean, yeah, we need proof. Does that prove? Okay. Hmm. Will that really let me off the hook? <laughs> you could say that. Could let you off the <laughs> something. Well, you know what? I think we. Well, all right. I'm sending it now, but if, I don't know if you can see it behind the bush. <laughs> the uh, burning bush. bush. There we go. Was that Moses that had the burning bush before him? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I'm trying what do you to... mean you don't know? Yeah. I don't know! I forget everything! <laughs> oh, you of all people should know. I well, forget. I you have know, a shit memory. You know what you probably haven't forgotten? <laughs> John Wick 1 Ain't and 2. Oh. Apparently there's a John right. Wick 3 in pre-production. Yeah. No, yeah. If up. you watch the second one, it had to have. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The if first one could have ended one. only on the first one. You never need it anymore. Should that... Okay. Number two ended with more. <clears throat> I haven't seen. Yeah, it. well, the first one, they, they, it was probably all right. We're gonna make this movie, and obviously, there's <laughs> hope that you know someone might pick it up. So you kind of leave it fifty-fifty esque. What's well, bad are the movies yeah. that that are terrible, and they think they're gonna make a sequel, so they leave leave it open ended. It's always the funny. uh, the uh, the Terminator movies with Sam Worthington, I think. So you, I'm pretty sure you mean Craig David. Sorry, continue. Craig Davids. <laughs> yeah. Craig Davids of Brendan Fraser. <laughs> no, no. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. That okay, one. Okay, okay, that one I understand now. Yes. And um, he's, he's, Brendan Fraser's really been in a lot of things, hasn't he? He has, but not lately. He's a, no. I don't know what happened to Brendan Fraser. <clears throat> he, was, he did really well in like the 2000s, the and then he just disappeared. Like, uh, like, counter, like uh, that guy. Counter Reeves. He oh, he disappeared for a little while. Yeah, after The Matrix 3. Then there's that whole meme thing of depressed Keanu or whatever it was. And Bill Crosby hasn't been in much either, except for the news. Liver knows all about that, don't you, Liver? <laughs> they said Bing <laughs> Crosby for a second. B Bing. Bill Crosby. What did I say? Yeah. Bing? Bill. No, Bill. I thought you said Bing. Maybe I did say Bing. Um, no, you have to Bill. excuse me for a moment. I need to go to the restroom. No, I don't. I have to go to the kitchen. In the restroom. <laughs> He's gonna take it. Why is he pissing in his kitchen? I don't, I don't know. It's with that. What a weird household. No idea. I've never been personally. I mean, you've been. Yeah. You should know. It smells great, especially his sister's room. But um, I was cleaning. I was asked to clean down the side uh, passage of the warehouse at work. Okay. I'm about halfway down. There's just this strong aroma of piss. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What the fuck? <laughs> it's it's locked off too. The, who are these people that are just pissing? They're, they 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 fucking... have high projectory, yeah. I think. Yeah. Or over that, the fence. Or they're filling water balloons up and they're throwing it over. I don't know. That might explain all the rust. Oh, uh, it actually urine. Due to if depending on its acidity, it will go through metal without it will oxidize oh, that metal. doesn't surprise me so easily <clears throat> but i um many years ago uh i had a coin that was uh i think my nan found it in her garden and you know what i've lost that coin since it was from like 18 Ooh, that could it was like 1860s to 1890s i can't remember the exact date and it just i have no idea where it went that could have been worth a bit um but i read somewhere well i you know there was always that thing where like they try and uh, they try and inform people of the acidity of coke. Mm. And they like tip it down drains and stuff. So I tried it on that coin, and you know what? It worked. You cleaned it. 
yeah for the most part without scrubbing just like letting it sit in like a little tub of coke yeah i know i found a coin from like yeah, oh, jeez, my heavens! It was so worn out. I actually took it to a um a coin specialist to see if I could get it valued. It was like nineteen oh one or something like that. It was super was, old. Was it a penny? It was one of those old school kind of coins. I don't know if it was a penny or what it was. A happening? Uh, must have been something. a sixpence. Either way, I found it. But the problem is that a farthing. The guy, the guy said it was so worn out that it was not worth much. It still had King George on it. Wait. Did... See, that's the other thing. They they. They say, obviously, if it's in somewhat good condition, but they say that if you find a coin that is worn, don't clean it, because it's worth more worn than it is clean. Really? Yeah. Unless you're buying it from a dealer, because they might clean it up or something, I don't know. But surely you'd want it clean to be able to read what it is. Yeah, but, it, it, I mean, if, if, I, if I find a coin that's really old... Mm. As impressive as it, like if I could have one that was clean and then one that was worn and old, that would be fine. But I would prefer worn and kind of old because it, it 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 feel it's kind of like f the coin has flavor to it, like it has a history. It's been around. Like a clean coin just looks like it's come straight from the mint and it's sat in someone's glass case for two hundred years. Yeah, I can understand it's both sides of the coin. <laughs> 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 Uh, what were we talking about? Johnny oh yeah, Wick. the Terminator, Terminator <laughs> Salvation movie that they released uh, yeah. in 2009. Yeah. Uh, th apparently that was planned as a trilogy. And the mm. re part of the reason why, or, I mean there's probably a lot of reasons, but part of the reason why that movie potentially did terribly is because they made the movie withholding stuff to then release it in the subsequent mm. movies. So the first movie didn't have a lot of content in it, like it didn't capture people, it didn't captivate people. Because they were holding back a bit, because that was planned as a trilogy. Yeah, it's not like bloody Harry Potter where you can do that shit. You know, people aren't just going to see the movie because of what it is. No, they see the movie Harry because Potter friggin' Emma Watson's already. hot, that's why. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. But uh, Harry po I understand what you mean, but Harry Potter's a bit different, because they had books to go off of. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. And same deal with, like, okay, fine, Star Wars is a better example. Yeah. Right, they can really shit and call it Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Like, literally a piece of shit for two hours in the call of Star Wars. People will pay to see it still. They'll complain about it, but they'll still see it. Yeah. This is a different story. This is, while it's, you know, a well known. Actually. Uh, <clears throat> IP, I was talking to. Well, it's still not as big. IP. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's technically kind not of IP, I guess. Big. <laughs> I was talking to someone yesterday. They were, they were saying how the. the uh, the review embargo, I think it is, for uh, the new Star Wars movie isn't lifted until Tuesday. So maybe today or tomorrow for us. <clears throat> and uh, they mentioned Rotten Tomatoes. is like, but, you know, most of the people I know who are going to watch Star Wars aren't going to care about Rotten Tomatoes, like what Rotten Tomatoes gives it. They're going to watch it regardless. Because Star Wars is one of those movies, those franchises that, regardless, people will go to watch it. All I know is that Terminators rock, and if Terminators take over, I welcome our robotic overlords. They are the coolest thing on the face of the planet, <laughs> and they are awesome. Sorry, you are saying about something gay? I don't know, Star Wars? No. Correct. Leba, tell us more. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. So I've never seen any of the John Wick films. What's it about? Some guy called John Wick who's Keanu Reeves. Is he from the Matrix? Is he actually like? Is it like a spin-off from the Matrix? No, but I'm sure people have made that connection somehow. I bet no is really just a yes, just in Matrix terms. So you're confirming uh... the two. <laughs> so it... well, by that He's logic, right. I can't give you an answer. <laughs> so. In, in, in okay, so this logic in mind, John Wick three is actually the Matrix six, or is it the pre? No, these are these are. Well, you guys know about the Matrix, mm. right? Uh, there's a new Matrix coming out. <clears throat> no, have we there discussed is? this already? No, what? no. I, yeah, they're, they're making gone. a new Matrix movie. Um, different uh, universe. Oh, sorry, same universe, different story, sort of thing. So it's, it doesn't have Neo. It doesn't have. Well, it might have. Right. Movies, I don't know, but. I think they're basing it off the Animatrix sort of story instead, but um, 
apparently there's heaps of stories in that universe. And they're going to make a new Matrix movie soon. So it's it's in the same period of time as the other three, but it's just not related? That I can't tell you. It's happening on the other side oh. of the planet. I would I would assume yeah. so. It'd be like the you know first the same as the first two, but if it's anything like the third one, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Reading now. Who? Uh. Mm, well, we'll see. Let's just say we'll see. <sighs> what do you mean? It, well, from, it might just be rumors. Maybe just some idiot on Twitter blurted it out. Oh right, I get you. Mm. Well, John Wick three, maybe I'll see one yeah, and two. Yeah, pre-production might be good. Uh, well, you don't see. I don't. I don't know if I would recommend it to you because, from what all I know, you don't really watch movies. Um, it's it's really hard for me to get motivated. To, you know what? I'm actually excited about a movie that is coming out, and it's an it's an animation movie. Um, The Incredibles mm. two, the trailer was Ooh. released, Ooh. and when that movie, my dad yes. got a copy of it early through some unscrupulous methods not downloading it he actually knew someone who knew someone who knew someone um so he got a copy of and like, they downloaded it <laughs> yeah probably um well no this is <laughs> this is a, a rip straight from the actual studio so it had their watermark going through it um but as soon as i watched the original um the incredibles i watched it three times in the same night i loved that movie so much and um you never watched it since no i haven't well no th then when it came out on dvd <laughs> proper dvd i bought it because i really liked the movie and um from that mm. i've i've always wondered are they going to make a second one i didn't think it was ever going to happen then this trailer got leaked and i was like hell yeah so excited to see what happens um how it's going to be different um, a lot of people are so it's gonna be exciting apparently um, the 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 kid the young boy isn't it's not the same actor for not, you know, because because of puberty and growing up. Wait, what? The the the, the I can't remember the kid's name. What? Is Dash? Dash, yeah. Yeah, the 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 actor that played him all those years ago isn't reprising the role. Oh, well, that's okay though. Yeah. Because there's probably a thousand other people who can mimic it perfectly anyway. So. Damn. Yeah, they just need a kid, generic kid voice. Generic kid voice. <clears throat> yeah, it does take um, a little bit of acting. No, see, it's a, it's a, it's no, acting? What's it's acting? No, I'll tell you what it is, it's a load of shit. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Sorry. As someone who's experienced in the field, I know what you're talking about. Home and away. But where's the home and away on neighbors? Home and away. Neighbors away. There's neighbors. Doesn't matter. Neighbors away. Load of rubbish. <laughs> load of rubbish. The industry is built on. <laughs> <laughs> and sucking the life and soul and crushing your dreams oh, oh, no a lot of sucking it is and it's, it's always fun. you doing the sucking for the producers uh, yeah. and they never call you back and speaking of which there's going to be a Hang new on. pokemon movie what ah uh, well there's supposed it's still i just wanted uh, i wanted to ask <laughs> have you ever seen fury Ooh. Uh, in my eyes? Yeah. Oh, what, what's Fury? Is that a brand? <laughs> what? Help it's, me out. Here. It's a it's a movie. Uh, How do you spell it may that? be up your alley. Ah, what? Up? Ooh, hello. Okay. <clears throat> Fury. Film. Uh, because yeah. it, it kind of it's about a tank crew. Oh, and with Brad Pitt. World War Two. Oh, it's yeah. Got, it's got Brad Pitt though. It's got Brad. So, I mean, it's a decent yeah. movie. Yeah, isn't he a Jewish? We should not watch. He doesn't believe in Christmas. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that what we're all discussing? <laughs> yeah, there you, you is got you. The, is that the point of this now? Podcast. Wait, what, what? What year is it set in? What war is it? World War Two? The final days World of World War Two. You know, yeah. there's there's an actual book on it called Mailed Fist by. There's a few books out there called Mailed Fist, but this one was crap. I've got the author. Is it medieval? No, no, no. It's um, it is about. Uh, it's a letter. A tank commander in the Second World War. And mm. his kind of uh, shenanigans going through that. And it's really... The problem is it's one of those books that are so old, they're really rare. So people put them up online for like 100 bucks per for a second-hand mm. copy. Um, and... But yeah, this kind of... Sorry, Fury kind of just awoken that... that, that... Shayla Booth's in it! Shayla Booth's in it! Mm. He's, in, yeah. he's in Fury! Yeah, he is. I want to meet Shayla Booth. L La Booth? Yeah. He's uh, he's related to Brendan Fraser. 
They um, both sound fake. Apparently, he was a horror to work on that set with. Who? Like, Brent to really get into character, he'd like pull teeth out and he wouldn't shower for months on end. No, Shia LaBeouf. He'd pull teeth out? He's trying to be a myth. Yeah. yeah. Of whose mouth? <laughs> uh, presumably his own. Maybe some other people. Maybe he's a practicing dentist or something. Why? What, what point in, in the movie does he have to have teeth pulled out? I think, it was, I think it's just to be a rough around the edges type. Oh. Get into the mindset of the character. I don't know. I, I like Your his, guess is as good as mine. I like his commitment, but that's just crazy. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of the same with I the... Don't. That's just dumb. It's 100% it's... dumb. There are so many ways to replicate that kind of effect if you really want to. Same that is thing not with one the... of them. Jared Leto, that's the guy's name, on the set of uh, Suicide Wait, Squad. He pulled out his teeth as well. Mm. Uh, he used to mail... That shit movie. He used <laughs> to mail, like, dead birds and stuff to the cast. Jeez, that was really... Uh... That's well nice. done. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. mm. um, uh, to get really into the helped the added to the uh, yeah, it really helped to that. Yeah, I think he was in that movie for like five minutes too. <laughs> well, Dustin Hoffman, um, he does um, he actually kept himself awake for several. Uh, he was his acting method was to keep himself awake and totally beat himself up for um a particular character for the shooting of Marathon Man, and uh, Lawrence Olivier, the well-known actor. Responded to this by saying, "It's called acting. It's called acting. <laughs> you yeah. act. You know. You, oh, oh, oh! Dustin Hoffman. The news. In the ah, news. Ah, ah, ah. Dustin oh, Hoffman. Oh no. Yes, what? Dustin I, Hoffman. I, I, I did. I had it in front of me. I didn't read it. When you said it, I knew exactly what you were talking about. I, I know what he's going to say, but this is just another bullshit article, right? Yep. I don't." Photo of Dustin Hoffman groping a co-star. Dustin Hoffman is accused of, by former co-star of repeated sexual assaults. The great Dustin Hoffman. Has and how long ago was this? What, the 90s, I think? Okay, so at sorry, the 80s, time, 80s. she was fine with it. <laughs> now that she's got evidence... You know what? I'm gonna take this guy down. No, I'm sure she was grab the bitch's ass. Who gives a shit? I'm sure he was. Look, okay. There's two thoughts. She always this. didn't care. Well, she must have. But how? Yeah. Have you, well, okay? How many people? When you were dressed up as a chick at that Christmas party and people were pinching you, how many people did you say no? Stop that! Or did you just laugh and giggle and say, "Oh, that's so I'm funny." And giggle. I'm not gonna sue him ten years from now. It's you could. No. You could. No! Because you look back on horror realizing that you were just being portrayed, you were being the puppet of the man. And it was funny! It I wasn't know, But Libba, you were molested. The thing is, the, the whole thing was kind of like... a joke. Yeah. So it would it not have been done in jest on your part? Who the fuck are you calling a jest? <laughs> <laughs> I look like a real woman. It was a you joke. I, I don't doubt that. I'm suing you, all right? <laughs> not grabbing my ass. That's what I'm suing like, you. Like happening in real life is a little different to like dressing up and. Look, and... I'm all saying I'm saying is, is he grabbed some chick's ass once. Mate, I don't know what he did. And that's that's enough to. Well, it says repeated. And she didn't care then. Now she cares. Like, come on. No, it, yeah, as Ed said, it does say repeatedly. Um, but it would be. So, I, could you be, <laughs> just imagine being some... repeatedly? If that repeatedly annoyed you and upset you. Why would you repeat it? But imagine it being happen? some nobody actor on the set. I don't care. Yeah, I will tell you off. I have a bit more dignity. Why do people feel like they can't just they, say oh, no? In order to make it into Hollywood, I have to suck it up. Literally suck it up. Like why? Why? Why can't you have a bit of dignity and self-respect? You know, that doesn't make any sense. I can't accept that as an answer. That's dumb. It's called <laughs> sacrifice, lever. So if he if he See? physically raped her, physically, however raped, I guess yeah, we'll call it physically raped. He raped her every day for 30 yeah, years. Sexual not, assault, not lover. emotionally raped that's, her. That's okay for her because at least she gets to... I don't know who we're talking about. I'm just, I'm just talking in general. It should be fine with that because, oh, she's featured in so many movies because, you know, she didn't say anything. Would you say that's uh, selling out? Would you say... I say it's her being taken advantage of. Yeah, yeah, and she's allowed it to happen. But we can't we can't talk because we don't know No, we don't. Exactly. We don't we know, don't know... We, we don't know her. Not 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 t it's not that exactly we don't right, know Exactly right, Bugsy. I'm glad you're on if my we side. We don't know the whole Hollywood scene. We know about it now, mm. but back then if you didn't do this one thing, that's it. 
Yeah, but you had no career. That, that all those years you spent waitressing potentially. They've made TV shows about this sort of theme for years and years. This okay. is a common thing. Level, 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 level. Okay, let's apply this thought. This this whole process that you're you're, you're kind of backing up here. Which, <laughs> let me just, th- let me th- just add this one last thing. Okay, hang on, hang on. No. One last thing. Okay. We've made movies. Oh, we haven't. They have made movies. <laughs> we can make a movie, level. Let's they do laugh it. about it like it's nothing. <laughs> now all of a sudden it's a big deal. It, was obviously, it may have been a big deal, deal back then, but they refused but to tell anyone. Care. No, they probably did care, but they were scared. Yeah. Scared of what? Scared of what? Why As you... I said, Why it's, you... it's their livelihood, right? They Go speak out against one person. Job when no one grabs your ass. Fucking hell. What about, this is what, so simple. What about, Sue them then. <laughs> the, this, this, oh, what's his name? The, the bishop dude that's coming back to Australia to face sexual oh, assault. Cardinal he's a Cardinal Pell. Pell. Too. But yeah, these children were sexual assault. assault. Why did it take them so long? Did they obviously, you know, they wanted to stay in the church. I as well. I don't care. I, 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 I was scared, you Hang on. I'm, sorry. I'm saying what everyone is thinking directly. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd say it indirectly. <laughs> Lever is an advocate of the people. Hang I on. am. People, people need to people. open their fucking mouths. No, hang on. You're the kind of person that votes for Trump. Out there. Fine, but it's too late. You should have done it before. No, they should have done it before. But do you reckon anyone because would have listened then? you look like a liar now. You are lying now. No, but the know, thing I is, there are, are people who there are people was... who speak out against it. There are absolutely people who have, spe- especially in the case of Cardinal Pell. People have for years, and I'm glad they have. And it's just taken ages for people to actually. Take notice and then do anything about do it. Do something exactly, because Cardinal Pearl would have been hidden behind fucking curtains of silk, paid for yes. by the man. <laughs> a lot of okay. silk. Mm. Yes, I know. And just like a lot of the Hollywood people, they're all protected. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's it. Why go. does that? Why do you just give up at that point? It's like it's like getting what would you shot do? in the arm yeah, what would you by do? a cop, and like you're too afraid to report it because that's, they'll kill you or something. That's what happened. That's what happened. So the so f- fucking do it anyway. This, this is like, what are you afraid of? Okay. You're afraid. What? Well, okay. So in the, in the case of the police, they know where you live. They know what you do. They'll yes. ba- beat the shit out of. They'll ruin you. So, <laughs> look, yep. justice needs to be served one way or another. You stay silent, everyone stays silent. See, this is the problem. If, you can't you... stay silent. If you have to take one for the team in order for something to start. It's, in order for a movement to happen, which then is, you do it. Which is what happened, and now everyone's following suit because they're brave enough. And that's great, up. but they're 30 years behind. Well, this is too late now. I'm glad you're doing it, and now, and now it should be... No, you're thing. not. You're complaining no. about it being done now. <laughs> I am complaining about it being done now about past events. That's what's pissing me off. If it's happening now, mm. great. Keep whinging and complaining about it because it needs to be said and done. All right. Well, I don't think Dustin Hoffman's done anything. What about this then? Now. This Dustin Hoffman one, you said there's camera evidence. Okay, you got him. Done. Well, it says but... photo. Just a photo, but... That's a camera. What about this then? Photo camera? Or a lot of camera? a lot of the, the, the sexual assault that is ongoing now wouldn't be reported on if, if, if the, the right dominoes hadn't fallen. For someone to speak out about an event that happened 30 years ago. My golly, Dustin Hoffman looks ugly in this photo. Did Ooh. you hear that, Nugsy? <laughs> Did you hear that? He Ew. looks ugly! <laughs> Hideous! Will you look at it? I mean, he's... Wait, is it the same one? Daily UK. No, it's not. Wait, Daily Tele- Tele- Telegraph. Okay, that was weird. That's two oh, girls. Yeah, I saw that. Is that his... Oh, he on the set of a go... movie there or something? Is that his sister? Mm-mm. It better be. Hang on, so... on the podcast. Hmm. How come he's got a bald spot? Has he always had I think a bald it's spot? no. I is think he, it's the he movie he was in. Oh, yeah, okay. he might, yeah. That's the only thing. He's not bald. I mean, in the photograph, he's older in this photograph down below. And I think he plays a bald guy in Death of a Salesman. By the looks of it. Oh. Or, or a balding guy. No, don't play that video for fuck's sake. I hate this so much. <laughs> You know what? You know what upsets me even more. Where was my? St- I, I, I see no women making sexual advances towards me for having a better acting career. The fuck? <laughs> you want me to suck it off? Sure. Throw, thrust it out off. that clip. God damn it! God fucking damn it! <laughs> what if she was a really, really, really large lady? Even better. It's a bit okay. of a bit of an exploration. You have to get a flare and some you scuba have to gear. Dig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Doesn't the matter. Jackhammer out. Oh, Nugsy. Large oh, women need love too. Everyone needs love. Yeah, but look, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that everybody loves everyone. No, that's just crazy. Exactly. But for the right for the right acting role, I could love anyone. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> And you know what? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be, to anyone listening out there? And it'll take me 30 years to get to the media. That's how much time you have to prepare. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Get, make, make oh, then you'll be famous. Then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so everybody wins. And then these sure. these unemployed actors or actors that are currently... Okay, that's not... All these actors who are still employed, but maybe not as famous as they were back in the day, they get to be relived <laughs> in the media again. They get, they get more... They get exposure. Hmm. That's that's the 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 of approval from aren't we right there? Mm. Oh well. Anyway, on the lighter side, in good news, moving on. John Hamm reportedly after Batman role in the upcoming Matt Reed's movie. Question off. Question is: Is John Hamm delicious as he sounds? And is there a new Batman movie coming out? Yes, there is. Good. Yes, there is. Good. And Christian. Oh, Christian. Christian Bale. Uh, ben Affleck is fine. For he is fine. He's Wait, playing. Uh, sorry, playing the job fine. Are you saying fired or fine? Okay. Fine. Fine. He's so F I N E. It. Okay. How long has this been kind of? To I him? suppose ties in with um, what we were previously talking about. I believe, along with his brother Ben Ben Affleck, has been reported to have made or sexually assaulted women. Why hasn't any guys come forward yet about women sexually assaulting them? And don't say it doesn't happen. It, it does, does happen, but happen. they can't. They don't complain about it because they love it. Well, well uh, sure, not every guy loves it. But whether or not that's the reason, though, I don't know. So wait, who? And it's it's more likely men will be doing it too, more often. Is John Hamm? Like in that aspect, you know, like women won't be grabbing dudes' dicks and shit. You know, they'll they'll just sleep around, you know, and they'll enjoy it for whatever purpose they serve, sleeping around, right? John that, that, you know, and that happens in private, not on set, I'm guessing. I, I don't know. But there are more men that will take advantage of a... of a. What are you talking about? Of a woman, I guess I'm trying to describe a woman. Yeah, more, more men will take advantage of a woman, women will take advantage of a man. In terms of a physical assault or harassment. Does that make sense? I guess so. Proudly sponsored by the I unmentionable. Mean... Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, that's that's the cherry on top, right there. The unmentionable. I mean, if it, I mean, I mean, I didn't. Is it is it still sexual assault if the people if the person cares? Nope. It's wait. Considered cares, sexual assault if someone feels like they are being They're taken about taken about taken. Budget. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Because what I mean, when I was in high school, I like she lay in passing, like slapped me on the ass. I didn't really think anything of it then, but like, <laughs> that's, that's like a... some of these see, allegations are like kind of on par. Well, that was sexual assault. No, so you were sexually assaulted. If you had not asked for it, that was an unwanted sexual advance by a woman who probably thought it was a funny thing to do and hilarious. I mean, it wasn't directly unwanted. <laughs> but did you want it? I didn't know at the time, I do now. <laughs> you do now, but back then you didn't, did you? Uh-huh. It's the same, I mean, yeah. You I, do I just now. thought it was exactly. really weird, to be honest. That's exactly the point. The people back then didn't know, but they know now, and that's why they're coming out now, Alan Witt, to say that they've got a problem with it. <laughs> ah, she We've got factual she evidence right here, right now. Um... So, uh, when the, the article I read suggested jo John Hamm was after the role. Because there was reports that Ben Affleck wouldn't star in this movie. I know there's a lot of rumors going around about this particular movie. Uh, the other person who's rumored to be in contention is Jake Gyllenhaal. What? Who I can't see being Batman. Gates Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, you, you know, he, he's got. He's in Jarhead. Uh, he's in. I seen it. You'll, you'll, you'll know who he is if you see him. He's in, uh... Is he... Donnie Darko. Oh, Oh, okay. yeah, he was too. I know Donnie yeah. Darko. That's one movie yeah. I have seen. Have you seen uh, that great movie, um... <clears throat> oh, I've forgotten it now. Doesn't matter. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Have you seen? I no, have not. No, that that movie. Uh, Day after tomorrow. That's got Danny Darko in it. Yeah, <laughs> Danny Darko. Danny, Danny, Danny Darko. Darko. Danny DeVito Danny Darko. Darko. <laughs> 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 oh, good old Danny DeVito. Yeah, I'm glad, actually. If Danny DeVito is caught out as a sexual predator, that's it. Game over. I'm jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> not Danny. You can't... Not Danny and not Arnie. No. Just no. You know, I guarantee Arnie probably has, but I, I almost wonder if the women may have wanted it, because it's Arnie. It's Arnie. You know I, mean? I don't want it. Like... I'm as straight as a post. If Arnie said, let's do it, let's do it now, I'd be like, hell yeah. You're 100 years old, but I don't care. You're Arnie. Those arms could hug me forever. I'd feel safe. Like, he's bulletproof, man. That guy's... Ugh. Danny DeVito, on I the other hand. I think he got... Yeah, he got divorced this year. Or Danny separated. De what, from Danny DeVito? Yeah. Oh, man. Finally, from Arnie. They're not twins anymore. <laughs> oh, man. They only just legalized gay marriage in Australia. <laughs> I and can't it's... wait for the new Twins movie. Yeah. <laughs> We're laughing. <laughs> they uh... want to see the third. Uh, I don't know, it's wait, triplets. I think it's There's a new Twins movie with them. Yeah, yeah, and Eddie Murphy. Oh, really? It's gonna be too good. Yeah. Okay, but they announced it like a couple of years ago. I wonder what happened to it. Mm. What's it? Do you remember what it was called? Yeah, triplets. Oh, okay. Triplets, you said. Well, actually, no, that's a bit of How news. How many is the triplets? We, we triplets. probably should we should bring up. Gay marriage has passed through the House of Representatives, and Australia's oh, yeah. first gay couple... Was that this? Had... Yeah, it's only just happened. Just did, week. did that happen after the podcast last week? Yeah, just after. Or a couple of... Maybe a day or two after. Okay. Oh, we failed, boys. We failed. What are we going <laughs> to do? Celebrate with a round of soggy sayo. Soggy sayo. Yeah. Come on, boys. They're <laughs> yeah, all loaded. All right. We can have semen that's married together. <laughs> Woo. Finally. Like an Oreo. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Good. Good for them. I'm happy. I'm happy it passed. Lever, you probably you probably went to bed crying that night. Of joy. <laughs> of joy. Oh, uh, now my dad can also be my husband. Yeah. Would you guys like to oh, what? marry your dad? Would you guys like to marry my dad? It's legal now, apparently. Well, actually, no, you can't marry. <laughs> Wait, that's one way to get into his family. You're right. Are your parents divorced yet, Lever? <laughs> is you? Is you? Lever, make it happen. Yeah. What's that movie with the Olsen twins and they try and bring the parents together? The Olsen twins. The asshole twins? Yeah, the asshole <laughs> twins. Try and bring, uh, Saving Private Ryan? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, uh, it's the opposite of that movie. Lev is oh. trying to split his parents apart. Split. There's a new one. And so, he can, so he can then split his dad <laughs> apart with his huge erection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> okay. Uh, Segment apparently, four. Uh, Whatever. Apparently, Arnold Schwarzenegger has confirmed a sequel. I'm sorry. To... What? Yeah. Say <laughs> that name again. Say that name again. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Should we bleep that one out? Why? You said bleep. Oh. For f uh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? what? He said it. I know he said it, but that doesn't if mean- If he said should... nigger, why am I the one in trouble? <laughs> because don't- stop saying that word! It's a bad, saying bad, bad- what? Word. I'm not saying Hitler, I'm saying nigger! Both are ter- Okay, one's a terrible why person- Why are both terrible? One... Why are you being prejudiced? <laughs> one is a word which is racially used against racist- Wait, wait no, that was back in like 100 years ago. It's not like that now. Yes it is! If you heard people use it, do they use it in that tone? Uh, it... or, or in that context? Even in 30 Rock, which is a modern comedy, one of the greatest modern sitcoms ever produced, no, 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 a black is... man said it, and they, and they still, and they still cut, the, cut away from the scene so you don't actually hear him say that word. Because they don't want stupid white people writing complaint letters about how offensive it is. Yes, white people. Why white people? People what? generally don't care. It's the how white people that How many black people do you talk to? Leba. How many black people have you talked to? I know all of them. African American. Thank you. African American people. Or Australian African American. Sure. Or Australian American. Wait, this confused oh. me. African Australian. Yeah. 
So look, I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't realize you hate uh, African Americans more than Hitler. Like I, I, I know now, and I mentioned. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're a terrible person for saying such horrible things. You, oh, I'm not. I'm not touching oh, this. I'm not touching this. Stop lying. <laughs> hush, hush. Oh, you're so full of crap. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. This is slander. This is actual oh, slander. Look, now he's trying to be like his idol, Hitler. Okay, I'm, great. Or he's trying to be like your idols, the hood, the hoodies. Well, we're just losing a whole part of this <laughs> fucking the blood in the crib. Oh, you know you're what? Cap my ass for no reason, huh? You know what? Uh, you... Wow, that's <laughs> we, we we spoke about before. If you mention Hitler one more time, I was going to turn up to your work in an SS uniform. <gasps> you said Hitler. I know. You said Hitler. I did because I was quoting you. I'm going to do it. Oh, so now it's fine. I'm going to do it. <laughs> We're going to go do? to a costume place tomorrow. Rent out. A Why do you need a costume to go naked? Fuck. They charge you for a birthday suit now. Jeez. <laughs> Why is Hitler naked now? Why are we talking about him? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Never mind, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna leave it there, I was gonna say something, but I don't want to offend you anymore, so I won't. Offended me? You have offended 90% of the friggin' population, except for the white supremacists and the damn bigots. No, I- I'm- I'm offending those people. What do you mean, offending? They're the ones- what, what? They're the ones that complain about this stuff, they're the ones that get offended for no reason. They- I'm not, not a white supremacist, you dumbass, they're the ones- Oh, they certainly do. You're thinking of... Go, look at the handwriting, it's all white. What? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see it then if it was all in white. I have... I Unless mean, the paper was black. This has been a great series, everyone. This is probably going to be our final <laughs> podcast. Uh, after we get <laughs> shut down for a hate speech. What's hate uh, speech? What did I say that... Okay, okay, hang on. What did I say that was hate speech? You said that the N-word is an acceptable word to use. Yeah, are you going to seriously tell black people or African Americans that it's not acceptable to use? Are you going to try and do that? I reckon that any what word... What will happen to your face if you say that? Any word stooped in hate is a bad word. You know what? I actually agree with you on that. I actually believe that no one should be saying it. It's either everyone says it or no one says it. Oh, good. Okay, then. So no one says it. Should it. Not be, it should not be prejudiced. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine if no one ever says it again. Good. But that's not the case. Be they but that doesn't mean you have to still... use it just because that's not the I case. I do, because I'm trying to raise a point here. Why... Uh, certain what? people have to do Your it. Your point that white a white person can continue using the same word that Look, yes. Why are you why are you being prejudiced? Why can only certain people of color and race say a certain word? What? How does that make sense? How is that All not right. racist in itself? Because it's a it's allowing black sorry African Americans to <laughs> reclaim a word which was usually which was reclaim a past. word. I... Yeah, take a take yeah, but ownership. Fine, fine, no, no. okay, fine, fine, fine. I accept that. Mm -hmm. But then, why are they the only ones allowed to say it? Lebo, I have that, a question. I have that, a follow up that question. Mean they're being racist, they're not allowing any other race of any kind to say it as well. I, I have a follow up question, Lebo. Of course. Do you feel the need to use it? No. So Do you hear what... me use it often? No, I've never, I don't think I've ever heard. Exactly. Maybe I have heard you use it. I have heard him too. I. He but was, you don't, the, the point is, you I used it a lot. To use it too, so it was a common word for me. Yeah, but people are young and dumb. Actually, I've, yeah. always, I've always That's wondered. This is where you grow up, and well, most people learn. This is this is a serious question I have out there. If I was to say, do as as a as a Caucasian Australian, if I was to do a a um a cover of a hip hop song which is done by an African American or a rap song which is yeah, done you by, have to censor. You can't use the same I, word. I can't say the N word if they use it in context mm. to their rap song or hip hop song. Because people thing. will get offended. So what would I say in censor it or would I just change it to cracker? You change the word, you censor it, you do whatever you can, but you just don't say that word. Does that make any sense? Does Eminem, has Eminem ever sung, said it in any of his songs? I'm yes, sure. he has. As, did he any slack for it? Yes. Did he? Yes, but this was like many, this was before he was like, he made it. As soon as he made it, he knew, he was smart enough not to say it because he knows it upsets people. He wants to make right. money. He's smart. His manager's smart. You don't say a word that'll upset anyone. He used to hate gay people. Then he does a song with Felton John, and now he loves gay people or whatever. You know, that's, that's, that was all the... I, I don't think... Sorry, if I said he hated gay people, I don't think he hated gay people. He would just make fun of it, like everyone else did, like 10 years ago. Now he doesn't. Everyone loves him. You know, everyone just forgot everything that he ever said. 
Uh, much like what I'm hoping is going to happen with this, this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, nothing's changing me, baby. Maybe we can get Elton John and um, Silo Green on here. Dun, dun, dun. I like Silo Green. Um, a green Silo. Yeah, why not? Questions from the audience. Why is Levis so racist? He's not. He's just trying to claim no. a word. I I would yeah. love for the audience wants... to answer the question. Isn't it isn't it racist for African Americans to be the only ones to say the N word? Particular word, Naga. I think South Park <laughs> had yeah South Park under every I answer. Mean, I mean, really, I think that's a valid point I have raised. I feel like. They shouldn't be allowed to say it just because they're trying to reclaim a word. Why are you trying to reclaim a word that was well, offensive why to they? you at some point? Because yeah. then it, it's trying to remove that association. The negative connotation. So then, and then when, okay, so, okay, so then they've removed that association. Have we? So that means everyone can use it now freely and not in the way that they used to, well, their grandparents used to hear it. Is that mm-hmm. right? Well, actually. It I, is now a clear word and it means friend. I, I actually, I have, I work with the... I would um, be okay with that. One of my co-workers, she is a... But! Hang on. But! But. That's not the case. They only want to use it for themselves. It's racist. Then and they're, they're being prejudiced. Done. Yes, tell you so. I had a co-worker I was working with on Sunday. And mm. she's not, she's not African-American. She's actually, um, she's dark skins though. Mm. Um, oh. she's from Asia, but she has very dark skin. She's brown. Um, and... Southeast Asia? Yes. Wait. Is it the one I... Southwest Asia, I think... sorry. Southwest. She's she's Indian. She's she's brown. Right. Brown Ind- Indian. And, um, I wasn't sure if she may be Indonesian or something. No, 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 no. Anyway, anyway she used <laughs> the N-word. Um, we we're talking about it, actually. And she, I, I said, well, you, you know, you, we we're talking about it. And I said, you can't, you can't use that word. She goes, why? I'm, I'm the minority. I can, I can say whatever damn word I want to. <laughs> I said, well, you, you can't you can't say cracker because that's our word. And she goes, yes, I can. I'm the minority. I can. It just seems mm-hmm. like it's one of those situations where I was damned if I do and damned if I don't. Mm-hmm. But I said but d- that but the point she on. raised was, she said was, um, if it's being said in malice, then of course it's not the word you say. But if you're saying it as, um, as a term of endearment, mm. then it shouldn't be a problem. I said, well, it's still not a word that I don't think I'll ever be able to use. And she said, yeah, that's because you're white. I hate yeah, the I've fact that my skin before. has <clears throat> limited... But, but yeah, there's, there's, my there's, there's no need to like use it. it. Regardless, there are so many other words you can use yep. to call someone friend yep. or mate. Yep. There's no need to and say it. We do that all the time. We need some more. We do that we all the more. time. <laughs> we use the same... We, we use different words all the time. Friend. They've decided they want to be because of... We're the minority. We could say whatever we want. Mate. No, that doesn't work like that. You are you are segregating yourselves Buddy. from the rest of the world... By choosing the words guy. you can speak. Sorry. Well, buddy, guy, friend. Friend. Mate, bro. Mate, bro. Brother. Cuz. Cuz. Cuz, fam, all that shit. Faggot. No, faggot's not one. Um. Used to be. Actually, it might be amongst the gay people. I think. I mean, faggot. you know, to to greater or lesser extents, cunt is. <laughs> oh, true. True. How could you say it's like the most offensive word? That's even not in, not in Australia. It, it is uh, in yeah. like other countries, sure, but not in Australia. Oh jeez. Well, I think we need to move on to the game section and just try and <clears throat> leave this, although very um, um, controversial, eye-opening topic. This very contra- to- controversial topic behind, and let's finish off on a high note before we get shut down. Um, <clears throat> time to play. I like <clears throat> because. Oh fuck! I forgot about this game. Such a good game. People were oh, raving about it last week. I feel and like I need another beer for this. I've got a great one after our topic. <laughs> well, oh you fucking oh, no. will. probably we should oh, say it though. No. You know, unless I got Ned, then I'll say it. This is the problem <laughs> because I was thinking we're going to mix it up, and this time we'll start with someone different and not me, and we'll go the other way. So I say for Nugsy, Nugsy says for Lever, and Lever says for me. But hey. Will, if you we'll see. choose, we'll see. we'll see. Don't piss me off, and we'll see. Look, look, I don't just, piss you off. Don't piss, I'm just, what are we doing to piss you off? off. What is no, tri- Ed, Ed, what, I'm saying Ed, what have I done wrong now? Ed is a good boy. Thank you. I um cracker. <laughs> no, you can't say that. You're not a minority. That's my I fucking can't. word. <laughs> I'm allowed it. 
<laughs> it was the derogatory term for white people. That is my fucking word. I'm sorry. I, I hope, disagreed I, with what you said before, but that is my word, Lever. I hope my point comes across. I know my point comes across shit because of the way I say it, but. Racist. Bigot. It sounds racist because I'm being direct. But it's, it's as, as you say, if you say it with intent for hate, then obviously it doesn't matter what word you say. Mm. It's, a, it's, you're hating on someone. You call someone, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, that's, that's, you can call I, someone a mate, like in a shit way, and that can be offensive to someone, obviously, because of the way you've said it. The intention you, can, you can say whatever you it, it, mm. it's That word has a particular meaning. Uh, sorry, it had a particular meaning back in the day. It's changed now. You know, everyone says it or no one says it. It should be one way or another. And it shouldn't be segregation. It shouldn't be... We shouldn't be splitting each other apart. I'm going to leave you know, it at that. But. You know you know, it's great? Next week we have on Spike Lee, the director, with us joining us. So he can ask... Who the f- uh, he'll be a great guest. <laughs> do, do, you, do you find the word cracker offensive, though? I find it a stupid word. Like, uh, I, I can't... Uh, honestly, I every time it. I hear someone say cracker, I just think of a biscuit. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if I hear the word cracker, people are trying to be offensive. Yeah, and it doesn't work, right? It's like no. you're in a fist fight and you just suddenly stop and you're like, yeah, well, you're a fart. Like, well, you're in... Sure? You're a poopy yeah. head. Yeah, you, you have a sausage you, for breakfast. You, Yeah, you little munchkin. How Not dare you? Your own mum would molest you. Unless they were a mid little person and, you know, munchkin might be offensive, but, you know, it's a different story. Yeah, well, we, we discussed that. Was it midgets and dwarfs, the difference between the two? Very, very yeah, we did. Yeah. Figured that one out. Anyway, uh, Nugsy can go first this time and choose a topic for, for Arnwee. Lebon? Yep. Oh. Got a minute. Wait, let me get the timer up. <coughs> All right. Okay. Nothing about. Okay, I got you the got time. Your cock clock out. Got, got Nothing about. Got my clock cock out. Clock cock. Cock clock. How? Clock cock. What's it? You know those. It's got... Got two cocks for the arms. Um... I can't believe I forgot this topic. There was a uh, they brought out the eye condom. That's for next week, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> believe it as or long not, as it has Bluetooth, I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it certainly does. It records all the data, apparently. Uh... And it, it kind of it registers for like how long, how many thrusts, you know, how much stamina. It's almost like a health thing, but it's like also like. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, we, right. we need to. Okay. I think I think I have. I think one. I think, have one. Okay. I think so. Okay. For level. Here we go. Uh. Wait. It, I say. I say. Lever's name. Yeah. You say right? Lever likes mm because, and then okay. Lever has to say I like mm because, and then go on from there. Lever slash on we likes crackers because. I have to say I like it, don't I? Yes. You do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I. <laughs> Le I love the cracker because I can put cheese on it. You know what cheese is? Cheese no. is dairy products. You can add cheese onto practically anything. You can have different colored <laughs> cheese, like blue. Oh, I'm sorry. It's I thought Nugs, I thought Nugsy <laughs> said I cold. like crackers, not cheese. I'm talking about cheese right now. It's crackers. Oh, you got to talk about fucking cheese. crackers. <laughs> You're ruining it! Oh, I'm, now, sorry. I'm going back to crackers. Now, if I get a blue holy cheese, I can put that on a large cracker. What cracker should I put it what on? What kind of cracker? A soggy sa- sorry, a sayo. Uh, a regular sakata. Sa- 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 you can put it on any sort of cracker you like. Even a white person. Apparently, that's a cracker too. I don't know how that can be, but you can put cheese on a person. Just like the movie Bruno, where you can have a table and you're cheese on top of oh, whatever food that you're there's a mexican uh, people <laughs> put them on top of a naked person that could be cracker and cheese right there you get a white oh, person that's instead, over a minute you and made you put it. cheese okay you made it i don't know how but you made it <laughs> <laughs> it was that cheese you got it like 30 seconds i don't even things. like cheese that much <laughs> cheese is amazing but i like cheese more than crackers so there you go <laughs> crackers are delicious cheese and crackers are the oh. like best of both worlds brie camembert <laughs> Cheddar, Swiss, Gelsberg. Anyway, yeah, I, I should have started singing Biscuits and Gravy for the whole, for the whole minute. That would have been good. <laughs> well done, dear. <laughs> biscuits and Gravy! Okay, choose a topic for me. made me a man! 
But if you choose it, if you choose if he who shall not be mentioned or the N word, I will reveal your address. What the fuck am I supposed to choose then? <laughs> Anything <laughs> but. There's an entire world, an entire universe of other right, shit I, out there. Let me get the Oxford Dictionary out. You could say you could stay Stella. You could say Light Beer. You could say Minecraft. You could say Pikachu. You could say doorknobs. You could say candles. You could say anything. White Door goods. candles. My mum's anus. <sighs> My name Your is sister's Dead Three anus. Ed. <clears throat> My <laughs> name is Dead Three Ed, and I like keyholes. <laughs> <laughs> I like keyholes because they keep my house safe and secure. Because without the right key, there is no hole to open it up with to make sure that my house is safe. <laughs> keyholes come in a range of shapes and sizes. Some enough for big enough for my penis, and some aren't. But the ones that are big <laughs> enough for my penis are most certainly the ones that I prefer to be able to have in my household. Keyholes are very solid and strong. They rely on a very intricate mechanism that took a person a very long time to make. And when he did make it, it was a magnificent machine that did its job well. Without the keyhole, we could not have a good solid lock on a good solid door or a good solid lock on a padlock a keyhole was designed in order to make sure that the key which is represented for the decal to decal the keyhole to go in and make sure that we could be then the owner of that property or uh, or that house could then enter and be knowing that that keyhole did its job that is why i like keyholes the end was that a minute yeah hmm. you know you could have also discussed the keyhole top or dress you know what that is the oh, dress. Like I think waffles? they refer to it as a keyhole. It's like, you know, like just like the regular top that women wear, yeah? But there's a oh. hole over the cleavage. Oh, that's what they so call like, those! Yeah, I think, I believe they're called keyhole... There's also dress. keyhole surgery. I oh. freaking love the keyhole dress. I'm Actually, a sad, that... lonely person. These dresses are amazing. Sorry. You know, you said without the keyhole, there would be no key, like, lock, and there'd be no, like, secureness kind of thing. Why the hell they got keyhole dresses for children? That's disturbing. Sorry, yes. Uh, you know, without locks, there would also be no lockpicks. Or lockpickers. Hmm. Sorry, Nugsy. I, my, my attention has been drawn to this picture of a keyhole dress, and I cannot, uh... Oh, right. that one. Yeah, I can't, I can't think right now, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm done. There's an, that's another one. Who's that? It's a woman. Keyhole sweaters are pretty good. They were a thing for a while. Uh, this podcast it's is kind of. Sounds this like was actually what I was thinking nervous. when I said keyhole. Like I, I know that is what you posted as a keyhole thing. This is. Uh... <laughs> this is my keyhole. This is what you get your uh, dad to wear. Uh, this one here. Yeah, he won't do it. Oh. <laughs> do you like it? <clears throat> it just touched you on the shoulder instead. This was a big thing in Japan for some reason for a while. <laughs> This, this sort of sweater thing. You know what would be a big thing uh. in Japan? My cock. <laughs> as soon as I saw that. So that's a sweater. True! <laughs> Looks like an eyeball coming out of the breast. Oh yeah, like a cat eye. Yeah. The, like the... the oh, just like I can't that. unsee. <laughs> oh, why'd you remove it? Just search for keyhole sweater. You'll find plenty more where that came from. And then don't forget to add plus size model as well. <clears throat> uh, keyhole model. sweater. Sweat. Why do you call them sweaters? Do you sweat in them? What, what the fuck? It's I called believe... a jumper, like a normal yeah. person. Oh, there it is. Anyway, I better do Nugsy. No, that's someone on a bridge. What? Nothing. I better do. I better do anime. Uh, I better do Nugsy's one. Nugsy likes Chappelle Corby because. Ah. Oh. Where do I begin? I like Chappelle Corby because she's a hero of the Australian people. She yeah. went to jail for the Australian people. Oh, she the suffered for the Australian people. Oh, nice. She dealt drugs for the Australian people. <laughs> and she paid, she paid the price for the Australian people. And man, she came through it, didn't she? Like an Australian would. Like the Australians did in World War One and World War Two and the other wars and Vietnam. Yes, oh. Vietnam and pro possibly Korea, maybe Korea. I have no Boa idea. Boer wars and Iraq. Yeah, we're definitely in Iraq. 
And she came out with the AIDS, mate, and she did it all for Australia. She's a true icon, and we deserve more and less. And everything below and above that line. She probably looked good when she was younger. Did Not she? so much now. I don't know. I've never actually never seen what she looked like younger. Although I suppose she was younger when she went in. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't even spell Chappelle. Sh 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 S H A double P E L P E L. Oh. Was, was I meant to keep going? You... I think I think you managed it. Okay. There you go. I think he cheated and keeping... needs to start again. You know, this picture of her crying <laughs> <Anyway>, keeping... is pretty... <laughs> it's a pretty big turn on. She's a hero in this show. She's a drug trafficker. <laughs> you called her a hero. I was... Other than like, yeah. that, obviously a joke. But... <laughs> I, I like Chappelle Corby. That was... This title... That was the game. <laughs> this, this title of this news article, Chappelle Corby, The Ugly Truth... The ugly, the ugly truth, truth. Stu, the ugly oh far out the oh. ugly story of a pretty woman. Oh, because she's pretty, she's innocent. Oh, that must make sense. No, Ooh. pretty people can't be arrested. <laughs> it's illegal. Mm. True. Yeah, just look at all the pretty people who are not in jail. Mm. That's why all the wobbles point are... proven. Mm. Ah! Wobbles. Go on. All the wogs are always in jail. Yeah, it's because they keep breaking the fucking law, that's why. And because they're <laughs> ugly, it's clear. Yeah, they did run around mugging people. They're stealing their phones. Yeah. You know what? Both oh, of them. Speaking of phones, you know what I found out, which have really pissed me <clears> off <throat> about? Some guy went to my store t the other day, not today, the other day, and he was like, he paid for his purchase using his phone, um, his iPhone, um, as the card. Right. Amazing stuff. I love this technology. Even more. Oh, you've never seen that before. I have seen it, but I only just got reminded of it very, very recently when that guy did it. And I was like, that's Ooh. great. You know what? I'm going to look into this this Apple Pay thing because you, Leber, you showed me about the, you told me all about this wallet. And I was like, the, the wallet <laughs> does do it. Add credit or debit card to your thing. I was like, sweet. So I did that. And I was going to, I got my thing out. I got my, my penis, no, my uh, wallet out. And I got my key card and I took a photo of it and I put in my information. And I was like, yes, it's there. And then a little message came up saying, that your bank does not support Apple Pay. And I was like, oh, what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> and then I, then I found out which banks do, and my bank has decided to instead go with the Android Pay, which means uh, uh, I'm fucked. I'm surprised and they wouldn't go with both. I know, why yeah. wouldn't you go with both? In, uh, but I, I now have to that's change banks. Weird. That's what it is. I have yeah, to change maybe. banks now. So what if my bank does? I've been looking at which bank does it, and I found one. Are you that... really going to change banks just because of this? <laughs> but the problem is I get the best interest rates with the bank that I'm with. And stick with the bank. It's not worth it. Just stick with the yeah. card that you have. Yeah, but if someone steals my wallet and then they have like, you, you know, know what? What's your pin code? You know what you should do? Get an Android don't instead. Don't tell them your pin. Well, that, well, I don't want to be like Nugsy, and they're just going to take the whole thing and kick my teeth. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> hey, I still, have, I still have most of my teeth. Oh, good. It's like they're yeah. running away. By the way, my pin code, you fucker! <laughs> you need my pin code, bro, otherwise you can't get into my account, can you? It's one, two, three, fuck you, mate. Ah! <laughs> Run away. Uh, Charlotte Booth would be proud, I think. I think you would. I think you've done him proud. He's done us all proud, Ed. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Clap Lever. on the back for you. Yeah. As for Lever, though. What, what? 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 Why? Why is there so much anger in you? You know, Leba, Leba, you wouldn't understand the reference, but to people who have seen it, Leba is is he's in the Good Place. I have <laughs> seen the Good Place. Well, I don't get it. Yeah, but you're in the Good Place, Leba. Did you say I wouldn't understand the reference? No, Ed wouldn't. Oh, you would. Ed wouldn't. Uh, you know, I'm licking my pot filter, and it's very salty. <laughs> oh, I've been in the good place for a long time, Nugsy, let me tell you. <clears throat> Why do you think Ed's here? <laughs> My life. Is the good place Lever's asshole? <laughs> <laughs> and how, you, is, it is, babe. how is he in it himself? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Either he's got a very <laughs> long penis, or um, oh, who knows. <sighs> well, I think that about just about does it for this week's hate speech. 
Actually, I think my bank is does Apple and Android. Awesome. Yeah, so, it does. So glad to hear that I'm missing out. And and BP and Bank Post, Bank Post, Australia's post post agency banking service. Post and direct a- credit periodical payments. Post. <clears throat> so it's a post office and a bank in the same. I think it's for Australia Post uh, employees. Oh. Okay, what's the, mm, there's no talking about them. Oh, well. Any final words, aren't we? Anal. <laughs> any final words, Nugsy? He said, wor- he said words, Lever. Yeah. Not word. We know where your arguments have been coming from, Lever, but... Okay, Nugsy, any final words? Uh, uh, I may have a word. Mm-hmm. Let me have a look. Let me let me see. What about a word from our sponsor? Oh. What are you talking about? <clears throat> we don't have any. We certainly oh, I won't. said that one, didn't we? We won't have any now. <laughs> Could you imagine... Get off! What? Go on. I was going to say, imagine iTunes hearing this and being like, we're not going to freaking put you on our podcast section. Oh, it's not going to happen now. No, of course not. <clears throat> Definitely we not. Just, we, we'll just we release this one after iTunes speaks us up. <laughs> okay, good thinking. Uh, <clears throat> you know how there's uh, Shazam for music? I don't listen to hip hop. Uh, What's the Shazam? Shazam is a, an ap- an application, Edward. Okay. What is it? Is uh, it... <laughs> you, you use it to identify music. So oh, if there's something oh. on the radio you don't know about, you can Shazam. I I know it, and I've used it yeah. once to find a Kylie Minogue song. <laughs> used it once. And I was like, that's amazing. How did it know that? And then uh, then it called <clears> the police <throat> and said I was downloading the song illegally. <laughs> Yeah. I've often went like, I've often thought, like, what if you had something similar but for smells? Well, that... I think a lot of people have tried this, but it's kind of hard to do. No, I can't. I can't think of how it would be implemented. But a smell bank that would be. Yeah. Smell Does can't be stored. Silicon Valley. <clears throat> no, something similar though. Smell can't be stored digitally, can it? There's no such. You can't have well, digital smell. Well, th- it's it's not the. It, the problem is picking up the smell and analyzing the smell because that's something our nose does. Yes. It's not something I think you can replicate. Well, you can replicate sounds. Why can't we replicate smells? And pictures. We can replicate pictures, sounds, uh, motion. Yeah, that's, that's a bit different. Why, Noxie? Why? Because it's a, it's not the same. It's, it's different, Ed. That's why. Okay. Well, thank you for that final word there, Nugsy. It's got me You're perplexed. <laughs> um, and for myself, what can I say? I don't think that happiness is rooted with any words that can be said. I think that happiness comes from within the individual. Uh, and to find that the <laughs> inner peace within yourself is to, over, is to overcome all fears and just to be happy with life. Happy. Yeah. Ha. Huh. What the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> I don't know. He mentioned happy. He lost yeah. me. So, with that in mind, please please don't unsubscribe just because Lever went on a tangent about the N-word. But until next time. You know I what? Bet I bet everyone <laughs> agrees with me. <laughs> I think I think I can save the podcast. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Exclusive rights are claimed in the names, fa- face designs, court cards, ace of spades, jokers, and other distinguishing features of our cards. What? Bye. Well, actually, there is. Uh, there... <laughs> That's okay. I think you know. I think we're safe because um, I make okay. sure that I saved it. Yeah, you you saved it by starting that whole shit storm to begin with. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my gosh! Of all things, I think you. I didn't think you could get any worse than Hitler. I decided to then <laughs> capitalize on that. <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with it. It's just the most controversial topics out there. And it needs to be spoken about. I'm so sick of everyone tippy-toeing about this shit. What if you start talking about N-word <laughs> rape next week? I mean, that's even better Do you topics. Want me to... I, I could, I could oh. go on. You could. I know. Oh, I understand the point you're trying to make, Lever. But for some reason, people like us who are white aren't really allowed to talk no about it. No one knows that we're white. See... It, I mean, I'm it doesn't help that. I mean, I I understand as well because I'm terrible, but Lever isn't great at no, really Lever's... getting his point across. You could say Lever. It just autistic. sounds. It just sounds. It sounds hateful. 
Yeah. <laughs> you, you're so you're so passionate. I love everyone. <laughs> about making this point that you just become across. Oh. Yeah. It just becomes a bigger racist. Yeah. <laughs> If that was your accomplishment, I can assure you, you, you succeeded. <laughs> <sighs> uh, Alright, I have a question. Are we going to do anything Christmas themed for next week? Sure. Out of curiosity. We'll have... <clears throat> Jewish people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, make, we'll make the podcast 100% kosher. We'll make it a Hanukkah theme, one. <laughs> yes, Cadbury, if you're listening. Bastards. Have some oh, kosher fine. friggin' chocolate for once, you f certified kosher. None of this check out our bulletin or this person's bulletin. <laughs> <sighs> oh, fuck. Jeez. <clears throat> Jeez. Wake up for breakfast, peanut butter toast. Open the bread box, shit, there's no loaf, oh no, my. How will I get by? Oh, what am I gonna do? No, nothing else will do. I need my loaf. Go down the road to the store. Head to the bakery, but fuck, they've got no more. Oh, no, my loaf. How will I get by? No, I don't know what to do. Oh, I think I have a clue. It's in the bread podcast.